What's up warriors? Welcome back to the Insane Warrior YouTube channel. Today's video I'm going to talk about the Sigrid buff. The one thing not a lot of people have been talking about coming out of the PTS server and uh, what I think about it, the good things I liked about it, the bad things I think about it, and things maybe I want to see in the future. Let's get into it right now. Alright, this week we got to the PTS server during the weekend. I didn't stream any of it. I only got a few, maybe a couple hours to try to play on it. And uh, I decided, since every time I tried to pick Seeker, it'd get picked. So I didn't get a chance to really get a play Seeker. So I'm not going to have a lot of opinions on that. But I am going to have an opinion on Sigrid. Because I wanted to know, is this enough to make Sigrid a higher tier rogue? Alright, let's go over the good things with Sigrid. I think it's good. That they gave her they gave the warm pistol a buff because it did start hitting hard i was getting downs and i felt like i was actually strong i felt like i was doing something for my team with sigrid with the shield and with the pistol also her tough enough perk is huge the fact that she can get hit by melee weapons that take limited damage man that's huge because people love to run around throw axes and uh come and hit and whenever sigrid would have her shield at people like to come up and hit that shield Nox Sigrid. So it's huge, huge, huge that she's able to now be able to withstand the damage of a melee weapon. No other rogue at this point has that perk. And uh, I think that's huge. She also now has the toughen up perk. The toughen up perk now allows her to take melee weapon damage at a reduced rate. So throwing an axe, throwing a sword, doing all that crazy stuff people do with that. She isn't going to take the damage that all the other rogues will take when she has that perk activated. And uh, I think that's huge, huge, huge. Now the bad. I do not think the Warm Pistol at this point is strong enough to be able to hold its own in a straight up fight. It is very, very strong. Don't get me wrong. I think it needs one more damage point. I wish they would have added two damage points to the Warm Pistol. Seeing what that does, because I feel like it's just, it's right there from being a, an amazing weapon. Uh, I know that maybe the, the idea is they're trying maybe not to make a pistol stronger than, you know, maybe their SMGs and things. But man, if it's just one more point, I feel like Sigrid could be a big, big, big rogue for this game going forward and be used a lot more efficiently, a lot, uh, very effectively since she has her shield for the plant, shield shielding for, for revives. I would like just to see the warm pistol get one more point above. And I'm probably going really overboard and I'm probably on the brink of making Sigrid OP with this suggestion here, but I would like to see a better weapon. Uh, maybe the LMPX. Uh, I don't know. Just something better than what the D40C is. The D40C, my opinion, out of all the SMGs in the game at the time, it is the weakest because it is extremely, extremely short range. Um, in a lot of these maps, we have at least short to mid-range areas. So, in my opinion, I would love to see her maybe with an LMPX and make her a stronger rogue for just a straight-up fight. Those are my opinions. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. What, what do you think they need to do to Sigrid to make her a above C-class tier rogue? Because my opinion, even with this warrant buff, it, it might push her up into B, but I don't think we're quite there yet. I think she just needs a little bit more to make her a viable rogue in almost every scenario. Alrighty, and that's what we got, guys. That's what I think about Sigrid. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe down below for, if you're new so you don't miss out on my Rogue Company content. I'm going to break down all these big changes that we've seen in the PTS server this week. And potentially we'll be seeing in the next week or two. Because, guys, we are going to see a different game than we've been playing. With Tenacity being nerfed and a lot of things that we've seen happen. I think we're going to see a much, much different game, and we might see new teams rise to the top in the comp scene. Remember, you guys are the building blocks, the cornerstone, and the foundation of this community, and uh, I can't appreciate all of you enough, so make sure if you smash that like button, that is a huge, huge thing. Let me know how much you guys are enjoying my videos, and uh, make sure you guys play hard, have fun, enjoy the rest of your day.